All righty then. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Matthew Baker of Beautiful New York Tours. One thing that a lot of people really take seriously when they come to New York City is shopping. And when I say people, I mean women. Uh, it is a stereotype, but a, it tends to be an accurate one uh, that men tend to see shopping as simply something you do to get what you need, and women tend to see shopping as an activity. The actual act of shopping is the sport or the art, so to speak. Uh, there are exceptions, of course, but I notice who asks me about the shops. Uh, so, let's talk about that, because shopping, like so many things in the modern era, has changed, even in New York City. There was a time when you come to New York to get the things that you can't find anywhere else. New York was legend for that. Well, of course, nowadays online, that doesn't exist anymore. But for those who see shopping as an activity, the physical action of wandering the aisles, of trying on clothes or of testing a product, that still has some cachet. And that is what keeps the brick and mortar retail giants of New York City alive. Uh, the feeling of the doing as opposed to merely the acquiring. Now, there are many famous shopping meccas in New York City. Saks Fifth Avenue, which was not always on Fifth Avenue. Uh, Bloomingdale's uh, was a legendary store. Macy's, with its wonderful, you know, over a hundred years old wooden escalators, is a great favorite of mine. But I am also a big fan of the little shopping, and instead of the big department stores, I like the little boutiques that you find in the ethnic neighborhoods of New York. And I specify the ethnic neighborhoods because, of course, that is where you are most likely to find products that are unique to you. Uh, one such neighborhood that is absolutely a wonderful place to spend a day is Little Tokyo nestled into a little corner of the East Village, approximately between 10th Street and St. Mark's Place, though there are certainly, you know, little smatterings of Little Tokyo as far south as 4th Street, you find a wonderful place to buy Japanese goods, whether it's fashion uh, at the punk boutique Search and Destroy, whether it is toys at Toy Tokyo, or whether you are an aficionado of good sake at Sakaya, there is something for everyone. And Little Tokyo is an especially great neighborhood to visit if you have, you know, 12 or 13 year old kids, tweens as people like to call them. And the reason for that is if there are three things that kids that age tend to love, it's video games, cartoons, and comic books. And in Japanese culture, Japanese video games, anime, and manga are certainly a treasure trove of interesting culture mixed in with a format that kids that age tend to really relate to. So again, Toy Tokyo is a really magnificent spot for that. And Video Games New York is a fabulous hole-in-the-wall shop that will get you nostalgic about the old days of Atari and Nintendo. I will give you one guess what language those names come from. Right around the corner from Little Tokyo is another very different and smaller ethnic neighborhood, Ukrainian Village. Now, Ukrainian Village doesn't have a lot of great shopping in the traditional sense, uh, but it has wonderful food. Not that there isn't great food to be had in Little Tokyo as well, uh, but after all that walking around the shops, I like hearty pierogies at Veselka, uh, which is one of the most famous Ukrainian cafes in the city, if not the most famous, but there are several others along the same block. You can also take a look at the Ukrainian Museum, uh, and there is both a very prominent Orthodox uh, Catholic Church and an Orthodox synagogue in the neighborhood as well. So you can take in two different cultures in one neighborhood 
and come out with fabulous, fabulous swag uh, in the East Village of New York City. Now, these are just two examples of the many great neighborhoods where you, you look at these cultures in their mother country, they're separated by the Ural Mountains, Siberia, the entire Indian subcontinent, but their diasporic outposts in New York are literally around the corner from each other. You will also find that sort of thing in neighborhoods like Jackson Heights, Queens, uh, which has both an Indian Bangladeshi neighborhood and a Latin American neighborhood because it was a big outpost for one culture in one generation and another in the next generation. And there are other good examples of that as well, and that is a wonderful way to experience New York City. When it is safe to do so, please check me out at Beautiful New York Tours. You can search Beautiful New York Tours on Facebook or email me at baker.tours at yahoo.com. Again, that is baker.tours at yahoo. Thank you very much.